scrub a dub dub what's in the tub what's going on my scrub scribers ace here and today i have a very special video for you guys because i am in the playoffs with my team this is the top of the scrub ninth and we are facing the safari stone fun stun fist uh run by my good friend kentra and it's going to be a tough matchup especially since kentra's team is very very offensive and has good uh walls to it like any uh playoff team should uh her team is composed of sylveon town flame Nido King, Agron, which is her Mega, Magna Buzz, uh, Xcloud, Tyrantrum, Alamola, Hariyama, Miss Magius, Lilligant, Aurorus, and Sunfisk. Uh, now, looking at her team, I really thought I have to bring safe pressure. So I have to bring things that pop holes in her team, but don't leave me open to get swept by uh, Sylveon, Talonflame, Nido King, uh, Agron, Hariyama, uh, Tyrantrum, uh, like any of those mods, are really, really deadly to my team if I get left end game against one of those. Oh, even the Lilligan as well with uh, the Sleep Powder uh, Quiver Dance set, uh, it's not going to be good for me there. So I thought, okay, I have to bring offensive pressure, but I have to bring it safe. So let's bring the Durant, let's bring the Sock, uh, just because those two pop holes in her team. Sock has a sturdy, so I'm in a good position there. So, as you guys see here, uh, we do have the Durant with the Iron Head, X is their Super Power Crunch. Now, I'm running this thing max speed, max attack, just because this thing uh, pop holes in her team. Uh, nothing really wants to come in on this, nothing likes the matchup. And uh, with max speed, I can kind of test things that uh, could be Choice Scarfed. The Needle King there, the Tarantrum there could both be Choice Scarfed, and those would be uh, problematic to my team. Uh, so, if Durant does outspeed them, I know they're not Choice Scarfed. If they, they outspeed Durant, then I know that they are choice scarfed. Um, so that's kind of Durant's role there. Uh, kind of in a nutshell. And then Sock uh, running the sturdy is just going to also have the uh, good matchup against a lot of things just because it has a sturdy and it has so much coverage moves. Uh, the rock side specifically for the Talon Flame Okos with the choice band. Uh, close combat uh, takes out pretty much everything on her team uh, barring a couple months. Uh, the Agron takes, I think, 60% after the Mega Evolution. Alamomola takes 60% as well. Um, Sylveon eats up just fine, uh, but we do have the Poison Jab for that. And then the Ice Punch Okos the uh, Nido King. So if it does come down to a speed tie, she's not running a um, speed boosting nature, and I win the speed tie there. I get off an Ice Punch, um, and my Sturdy's still intact. Oh, but I can't take a hit with the Sturdy. Uh, but I do have to be careful of rocks because I don't want to have sock come in after rocks are already up so that's why we are bringing in the diancy uh with the magic bounce uh mega evolution uh ability uh, just because we don't want that to kind of hinder us and uh that's definitely going to be a potential lead uh depending on what she brings uh the diancy could um just be there just to mega evolve off but really, if I don't see the Sylveon, I might just lead off with a Sock, uh, just because nothing really likes to match up against Sock, uh, especially since she has a lot of slower offensive mods, uh, considering Sock has base 85 speed. Um, nothing really wants to come in on it for free, uh, for free damage anyway. And uh, so I think Sock just kind of creates a tough matchup, and it's not something that I think she really think what I'll be bringing. Uh, so it's a good matchup for me. Um, but like I said, we are bringing the Diancy, and uh, it's going to be um, mine. Like we're not bringing max speed, uh, just because I don't feel we really need it. Um, anything that outspeeds it's going to be choice scarfed. So I don't really think the Diancy needs the max speed. Uh, I'd rather put the max in special attack and then put a little boost in attack, um, just to boost that Diamond Storm. Uh, because if the Talon Flame is in and something wants to swap in against it, I kind of want to just have that Diamond Storm ability, um, just to be able to go for it confidently knowing that it'll do a solid amount of damage to where I can follow up with a, uh, a special attack that can Oko, or well, that can kill after uh, the Diamond Storm has already hit. Um, but yeah, no Earth Power, Diamond Storm, Protect, Moonblast, running the Protect just to uh, get that speed up and kind of scout for Steel moves. I know she likes to run Steel Wing uh, on her Talon Flames as well as she likes to, well, she has an Aggron, uh, so I can just Protect up in its face and then kind of see what it's going to do. It can't set up rocks against me. In that position and it can't hit me with an iron head um, behind a protect so also i think it's really vital for my team to have good walls uh so we are bringing the arcanine 
as our physically defensive wall will will wisp extreme speed flare blitz morning sun i decided on the extreme speed over the crunch that i've run in a couple of the past matches uh, just because i think it's really good against her team the talent flame uh gets out sped in priority by the extreme speed and uh the little gint with the sleep powder uh, will be out so it'll be extreme speed and i think it does about 40 to 50 percent um, just because the Lugan isn't really that physically bulky unless you kind of run it that way. Um, but it just allows Arcanine to pop that sash and then Mamoswine can come in for free. Um, like with the priority Ice Shard and uh, we will really have to worry about all that. So our especially defensive wall is going to be the Jellicent. Uh, we're running at max HP with some uh, special defense investment in 212. Uh, this allows us to live a 2... Um, two thunderbolts from a uh, toy scarf nido king uh if it's life orb then we live one and we have a little bit uh, left over uh, but we do get that scald off um with the investment that's normally invested in speed on these jellicents we're going to run it in special attack just so this allows it to be i think it does right around 90 percent um which is absolutely perfect for putting nido king in range of getting either e-speeded or um i sharded and uh, if she doesn't really like that matchup, then we can just recover up. Um, this Jillicent specifically, I think, is a good matchup against the Alamola um, because it does have the energy ball um, and the recover toxic kind of thing. I can uh, slowly stall that thing down and I don't really have to worry about it scalding. I can swap in freely on the scalds. And I do have the Durant on the opposite side who can come in on the Toxics. So I can kind of play games with that. And then I do have Diancy with Magic Bounce as well. So I can just play my games around her and kind of see uh, what she's really trying to play. Um, and uh, like with her team, I really think that since she has such an offensive presence, I have to make her make bad plays. So I have to force her into positions where she's going to make bad plays. And I think that this team uh, composed of these mods together like this, uh, kind of forces her into tight situations because there's a lot of hard matchups for her team with these specific mods. The final one is the Mammoth Swine, like I mentioned um, in a couple other points before. Uh, we're going to be running the Earthquake, Ice Shard, Stealth Rocks, and Ice Crash getting up those Stealth Rocks. Uh, might be crucial um, end game, possibly, just because she has uh, the Regenerator Mon of the Alamomola, and she has potential Sashers of the uh Lilligant. and i guess you could really run sash on anything she wants uh the priority with ice shards always nice especially against uh having like a lot of her team having the ice weakness uh talent flame uh doesn't take it kindly tyrantrum doesn't like it uh Agron doesn't really appreciate an earthquake it's not going to outspeed mammoth swine anyway we are running the sash set because i think it's just the best matchup there um but I didn't really think that we needed the max speed uh, just because Mamba Swine outspeeds a lot of things on our team and anything that's going to outspeed uh, running max speed we don't really need it so we're just going to speed creep just a bit and uh, run 62 in defense instead of uh, investing that extra bit into speed uh, just to let Mamba Swine potentially if the rocks are up because the aggron pretty much guarantees that rocks might uh, go up because it's not going down in one hit so we're going to just run that extra bulk uh, just in case it comes down to it where i need to get off two clutch ice shards or an icicle crash or something for her um, damage or maybe even an earthquake uh, but yeah thank you guys so much for your support uh, so far this season it's been absolutely excellent uh, make sure to hit that like button down below and uh, leave your comments uh, what you guys think of this team and if you guys are looking forward to uh, this matchup and if you guys are hoping for me to make it past kendra and uh, face off uh, whoever it is I'm going to be facing in the final, uh, make sure to let, let me know down below, share your support, tweet me on Twitter, you know, let me know how I'm doing, and uh, that's going to be it for today, today guys, and uh, yeah, I'm Ace, I'm out, Bye bye